You remember like four videos ago when I told you that the next video would be in my office because it was getting renovated? <laughs> yeah, me too. I used to be a very angry person. Sometimes I still am. Hello, my name is Sarah and this channel is Sarah Refined. Here we discuss self-development, encompassing the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial aspects of our lives. If you are also all about becoming the best version of you as you can in this lifetime, subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. And with that, let's get into this video. So you've read the title and you already know we are discussing anger and frustration and how to manage that. Now that I've been doing the work myself in the last like five, seven years, I can tell you that the very first thing I think we should all be doing is therapy. Regardless of what our upbringing was like, I do think therapy is good for everybody. And I might be a bit of a hypocrite with this because I'm not actually currently in therapy, but I have tried it countless times. All of them have been fantastic and I am trying to find a different therapist. I just thought the last one and I just didn't work out properly. If you're frustrated or if you are easily angered or if you find that someone cutting you off in traffic really just sets you off, that's not normal. Being frustrated and snapping at people and taking everything personally, that's pushed as if it's almost our normal, but it's not. And it is not a fun way to live. Okay, so number two, three, and four are sort of like in the moment, calm yourself down. Thankfully, I don't need to do them too much more, but there are some people that are very close in my circle that sometimes they just talk too much, you know? And I just need to go follow my own advice. And number two is to do some deep diaphragmatic breathing. That is where you are breathing in from your diaphragm. This is how babies breathe. This is how you breathe when you're asleep. And this is how your brain keeps you naturally functioning and breathing. It's also huge because by the navel, there are like 9,000 nerve endings or something. The diaphragm sits right behind that. It's next to the psoas muscle, which has the vagus nerve running right to it. The thing about the psoas muscle is that it's also your fight or flight muscle. So if you angry and you are about to fight, this breath can really help calm that muscle, which sends from the nerve right back to the brain. Hey, we're good. We don't need to worry about this. But in order to strengthen that muscle and strengthen your diaphragm, you have to practice that. Take a minute after this video or do it while you watch the rest of this video and just put your hands on your belly and slowly inhale until you can get your belly as big as you can. Hold it for four counts and then exhale, pushing out from your belly. Try that and let me know what you think. The third one is cold water. This is, I mean, people have said take a cold shower to cool off, literally and figuratively, or you can drink some cold water. I find that drinking it always just helps me snap back into reality and calm myself down because I can feel like when it's ice cold, you can just feel it running through. So I get out of my head and all of our anger starts from emotions. It's usually nothing physical. It's not a physical response. So the anger part of me is in my head and the cold water brings me back into my body. So I'm more present and I'm thinking, did what they say really warrant me like storming off like that? Probably not. I can cool down. I was the one in the wrong. Putting my hands under ice water was like kind of the same thing as drinking the ice water. It just snapped me back into reality and I was able to go, okay, I am literally hot headed right now and this cold water is helping me just cool myself down and it's giving me a chance to slow down and think, what am I really upset about? It's not about what's going on in my thoughts and what I'm angry about. It's actually about like, oh, I'm a little afraid not angry, and I'm okay, I'm safe. I can talk myself into being safe right now. So cold water is my third tip. Number four is obviously not great for road rage, but it is great for family dysfunctional communication. It's called taking a walk. And I have done this quite a few times because as much as I love my in-laws, my husband sometimes infuriates me and his father is exactly the same as him. Very fantastically great people, but we just don't see eye to eye on some big things. And so I can handle my husband in a conversation and I can handle my father-in-law in a conversation. But the two of them together, I just feel very outnumbered. Taking a walk has really helped me. Sometimes it's just five minutes and go slow. Don't speed walk to get your anger out, just slow down. That's one thing I would, I do have exercise written down here as well because I know a lot of people find that like the exercise releases the endorphins so you feel better. And if that works for you, that is awesome. You know yourself better than I do. I'm simply a stranger on the internet. So taking a walk is number four. All right, so my fifth tip on how to manage your anger is probably something you have never heard before. And this is one I've 
have recently discovered in the last few weeks, maybe months, as I have been diving into Ayurveda. And so bear with me, okay? Because this is an important one and I think it could possibly help you, but just hear me out, okay? There are three doshas and your dosha is how your body like manages fuel. I'm gonna just talk about mine because it's all I know. It's like the one I've been diving into. I am a Pitta, which is a fire body. And the characteristics of a Pitta are pretty athletic, they gain weight and they lose weight easily. They are easily frustrated or angry. They typically will have acne and they often will have red hair or reddish tints. According to this thing, my body's already really has so much heat in it. It rises all the way up, gets me frustrated and comes out through my skin in my head where it can, there is no more for, place for it to go. So it's coming out in the fire sign of the hair and in the skin. And I sound literally like a witch doctor right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware. I probably should have had tea today and not coffee. This is not tea at all, this is coffee. The biggest thing for pittas is to limit your spices. You're already a fiery person. You already have all this, the heat. So you need to limit your heat and eat more cooling foods. So a few of the most basic things that I have limited, not fully avoided, but limited, is inflammatory foods and then spices such as chilies, some onions, garlic, nightshades. So like no eggplant or tomatoes. It's helped a lot. I feel like my skin is better. I feel happier. I feel like I am not quick to anger as much as usual. Give it a try. That was a long little segment. I'm sorry. But give that one a try and see what you think. All right. So number six. The final one I have for you today is to get to the root of it. This kind of wraps back all the way to therapy, number one. But I don't think you need therapy for this. You just need to be honest with yourself. But you need to get to the root of why you're upset. And as I mentioned earlier, it's very often that we're not really genuinely angry because when you think about what we're angry about, it's not something that we would typically lose our minds over or lose control over. It doesn't make sense because normally it's not the anger, it's a fear and we need to to address our fears. We want to feel safe in all aspects of our life. So get to the root of why you are angry. Asking yourself, what am I really angry about? Why am I upset? Are there any moments in my childhood or in my past that made me feel like this? When was the last time I felt this strongly about something? Like you can literally just deep dive over and over again, asking yourself follow-up questions, interview yourself, and like really get to the root of what is this problem? These are the six ways that I have been managing my anger, frustration. I wouldn't say so much anger anymore, but I definitely get hot-headed occasionally. The frustration part is huge. I always will be frustrated easily. Again, it's about managing and coping with that. You don't have to completely switch and be that person who, I'm always calm and airy and I just, I always feel good. Nothing bothers me. That would be ideal, but we are only human. A little reminder I keep with myself is that as a toddler, you would just throw a tantrum anywhere, right? And that was because you're still learning about your emotions. So you would just be a toddler. You would just explore your emotions. Sometimes you don't know why you're melting down or reacting the way you are. You just are. But as an adult, I have learned what my emotions are. I just haven't learned how to manage them, but I should have a long time ago. So every time I do lose my temper or anything like freaks me out, even driving, if I'm alone in my car and I like swear at another driver, I immediately scold myself, but in a loving way. And like I reparent that part of myself going, Sarah, you can't act that way. That is not how adults behave. Why are you acting like that? Well, I was scared of this person cutting me off. I thought they were gonna get me into an accident or I'm frustrated because I'm late to work, but it was really my own doing. Don't let your inner toddler win. Parent that. Sh I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you found it valuable, please give it a thumbs up because it lets other people know it's a video worth watching and it also pushes it out into the algorithm of the YouTube verse. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below telling me which of these you enjoyed the best. I love hearing other people's responses and inputs because that's what this is. It's a community where we can all help each other grow to be better people and be the best version of ourselves. Because remember, when you improve yourself, you improve the world. Bye.